to another random adventure in Costa Rica. We continue our adventure in the La Paz Waterfall Park. In the previous videos, we had explored the animal part of the park. And here in this video, we're actually going to visit with the waterfalls. To view the various waterfalls, the park has a network of trails. Now these trails are man-made and are designed for safety, but the hike itself is still pretty tough. It was made even tougher on this day because it was raining for the most part. But even during the dry season, this would be a challenging hike. Now it's cleverly laid out so that there are these forks in the path. So if you wanted a more challenging hike, you can continue on one side and you get rewarded with uh, some extra views of the waterfalls. But if you were finding it to be too difficult, you could take uh, another choice and you would still see waterfalls, but it would be less difficult. But even this path would still be a challenge, I think, for most people. Of course, I had to take the harder path of the two and see everything. I don't regret it, but I have to admit, I don't know if in a few more years I'll be able to do that again. So the hiking trail is man-made with a stone pathway, but with a constant mist of water coming from the waterfalls, it's always wet. And then if it's raining, it's uh, more moisture, obviously. And so there's always a, a slight risk of slipping. Another interesting detail is that these railings that look like wood are not. They're plastic or some other artificial materials, which makes sense because if it was actual wood, they would have to replace them very often it would always be wet and rotting and then you have somebody lean on it and then they'd probably break through. So it makes sense that they're just some kind of artificial material. One of the things I like about doing the hike to the waterfall is that as you go through the trail, you'll get little glimpses of the waterfall, just little teases of what you're gonna see. And then as you go through and you make your choices of whether you go the long way or the shorter way, you eventually end up at a proper viewing platform, that's your reward. So one advantage of taking the longer way is that you get extra viewing platforms. Uh, the disadvantage though is that the only way to continue is to go back the way you came, back to the fork and continue on until you get another uh, fork in the path. I remember thinking to myself on the day why people would go through such a grueling hike like this just to see a waterfall. What are people's fascination with waterfalls? Why would we do something like this. And after thinking about it for some time, I came to the following conclusion. One, while waterfalls aren't necessarily rare, they're not exactly common in everybody's every day-to-day -day life. For many people, if you want to see an impressive waterfall, you just have to plan some kind of trip. Most people don't live near Niagara Falls, so that's why it's such an attraction for people. I suppose if you live in that area, it's probably not that big of a deal. Another thought I had was that Usually their waterfalls are located in some place that's usually pretty and has nice scenery. And the waterfalls themselves are just impressive. I get the feeling that just seeing them and sort of the raw power of it is just kind of impressive. I think it's that combination of something that's not super common, the beauty and the raw power of nature. I think that's the reason why people like me would do something like this, even though it involves a, a pretty strenuous hike. As I continued down the trail, you would get these various types of viewing platforms. Each one was its own little experience. It felt like there was one that was had the waterfall kind of off in the distance, so you kind of got to take it all in. Then there's the viewing platform where you're kind of underneath the waterfall. And then there was the strange viewing platform that was a little bit more raw in its presentation and had this weird metal structure in it. I'm not sure what that was all about. But all the viewing platforms were great. They give you a different angle and a different look of the various waterfalls. And with it being the raining season, I'm guessing the waterfalls were more powerful than they normally would look in the dry season. But if I had to do this uh, hike again, I would probably come back in the dry season just because it was a little bit tiresome with all the rain. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing these waterfalls and the natural beauty. But I have to say that nothing replaces seeing them in person. So if you get a chance, I would definitely go down to Costa Rica and check out this park. I'll have information down in the description area. Thank you for exploring these beautiful waterfalls with me. And I will see you in the next random adventure in Costa Rica.